leading off. Six feet one inches, number 21, Patrick Beverly. A guard, 6-3, number zero, Russell Westbrook. At small four, at six feet three inches, number four, Lonnie Walker Devoy. Manny Mundo. Six feet ten inches, number three, A.D. Anthony Davis. At four. Six nine, number six, LeBron James. It's Thursday night and it's the NBA here on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Well, thanks very much, guys. Of course, the NBA has had some legendary trash talkers. But Damian Lillard says it's not really a verbal assault like it used to be. In this era, it's more gestures. From the watch your head to the too small or rock the baby to Trey Young's theatrical bows, players have their ways of sending a message. Kevin? And the message usually received, D.A., <laughs> thank you. Now Golden State's starting five. We'll see Wiggins and Green play in the forward spots. Stephen Curry is out there with the captain, and it's Brzingis in at the five. And for the Lakers, they'll go small with LeBron at the four and Davis at the five. Patrick Beverly out there with Russell Westbrook, and it's Walker in at the three spot. Oh boy. Clark, the focus tonight has to be on the front court matchup. It figures to be a battle of big men. When you guys want to change the two games. Let's quit time. Down low. Well, you know, Kevin, no question about yeah. it. These are two very talented teams yeah, in the post. Time. I mean, each used to owning the advantage in the paint. Yeah. And I'm very yeah. interested to see the chess match inside tonight. That's up. Curry fires Curry. from way outside. Bad. Sinks it. What range Curry. from outside? Wow. Three, one, I mean, the range is just unreal. Curry can make even the toughest shots look easy. Davis with a screen on Curry. Westbrook passes to Davis. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. And once he got to the end, he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity. I don't like which side. Which side? I mean, I don't like it. From D. Double team on Westbrook. It's Davis on the wing. Outside Westbrook. Back to Davis. Warriors with the rebound. The struggles AD has had to stay healthy. And you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and, and try to manage that wear and tear. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a force. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy. But Davis has had Number a three, bit of one. bad luck with the injury. So you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. Davis kicks to Walker. Will it go? A shot, no good. And Golden State will come the other way. Just one of four from the floor, not the start they were looking for here. The captain, no good. 
Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. LeBron passes to Beverly. Trying to get open is Davis. Los Angeles with another miss. The Warriors have gone four of five from the field so far. Here's the captain. Six points for him. Six the three point. The captain's got nine. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. So the Lakers call timeout their first. Los Angeles making a switch here. Schroeder's checked in. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. You look at the Celtics. They've climbed all the way up to the second spot. And I think for Golden State, they just crushed expectations all season long. Only a few people thought they could sustain this level of excellence. But here they are. One of my favorite eras in NBA history, Clark, the 80s Showtime Lakers. Man, I played against those guys. Thankfully, it was just twice a year because we were in the Eastern Conference. But those dudes were unbelievable. Magic running the point. Kareem still playing at a high level down low. Worthy finding his stride and finishing the break. They didn't just win titles. Showtime had a flavor that was fun to watch if you weren't being run out of the building by him. Here's James after the Warriors pick up three. Schroeder outside. Shot clock at five. Here's Davis. And again, no good by the Lakers. Warriors leading by 15. Over in the quarter, Przingis over Davis. And another basket for Golden State. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Now here is Davis. He's someone who's a factor on any given night, averaging more than 22 points a game. They get it back to stop the drought. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Number 31. That is textbook when you're talking to pump fake. Well executed that time by David. So good at knowing how to use that shot fake effectively. And the Lakers making a change here. And looking at Anthony Davis, a huge part of this team. Sure is. I mean, along with every team he's been on. This is a superstar player. I mean, no question about that. He can headline a roster full of superstars. Not much on the floor that AD can't do. And here's Schroeder after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Schroeder kicks to Lamb. No good with the triple. The Warriors have gone an incredible eight of nine from the field. A three-pointer. Wiggins, another three for Golden State. And the defense three. is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. When that happens, you simply just hope they start cooling off. Now here's Schroeder. Great D that time from Green. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. When a guy has a seven or six about. wingspan like Porzingis it does, it's just it's tough to get away ball. from him. Get by him. That allows Coming him to block a lot of shots. Order. Damian Jones is checked Damian in for Anthony Jones. Davis. Here's Lamb. He averages a bit over six points a game. And here's Schroeder. Feeds to Jones. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. That's simply an outstanding play. Working the size mismatch right at the rim. Curry looking it over. For the three. And the buzzer beater ringing the bell that's the way to close the quarter talk about lifting up a team and energizing them at the end of a quarter a three at the buzzer that'll do it and so it's the golden state warriors holding a 22 point lead as the quarter wraps up their defense has been very effective in locking down russell westbrook don't go anywhere we'll be right back
glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has... Not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far, they are hitting at a high clip. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. Patrick Beverly has... Oh, oh he hit it! How did that go in? How about the range Woo! on that jumper? GA with their fourth title, the combination of Steph, Clay, and Dream. Green, the single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time. The, the most wins in the finals ever by a trio who each made an all-NBA team. Now Westbrook after the missed three from Stephen Curry. Bryant with a screen on Wiggins. Here's Westbrook. And the Lakers with another miss. Golden State's gone one and two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. The captain with the bucket. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. Here's Walker. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Great D that time from Green. From deep three point range, it's hauled in by Los Angeles. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. That one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. Of course, the Warriors' offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength the numbers indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. And it's worked for him. GA, thanks. Westbrook with the bucket. Westbrook has really honed his ball handling skills, so now he's able to create very well off the dribble. And... seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And when you're trailing like this, just focus on one possession at a time. Keep hitting single. Three triples in the first quarter, but he's yet to knock one down here in the second. And it's Beverly missing. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Great. We know from time to time things get pretty chippy out there. What kind of things would get under your skin when you played in the NBA? Oh, you know, guys tended to talk a little trash, and that could rattle you. That, that could bother you at times, but you really just tried to maintain your focus and keeping your eye on the prize. And there's the call on Curry. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Westbrook against Curry. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They get Stephen Curry. Boy, when you combine Westbrook's athleticism with the ferocity that he plays with, hard not to foul him inside. Then the shooters check in for the Lakers. And really, whatever your take on Russell Westbrook is now, you can't deny his place in NBA history. Voted as one of the NBA's top 75 players of all time. Good on the shot. Curry. Curry's got 13. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Schroeder looking around. Outside Westbrook. Fires high post. That shot is off. The Warriors go the other way with it. Greg, it is impossible to argue against Westbrook belonging to that top 75 players list, isn't it? It, it really is, Kevin. I mean, his career numbers and accomplishments speak for themselves. A very unique player, easily one of the best 
during his prime. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Ooh, just powered it down with both hands. You know, he's not going to mess that one up. Oh, no, not this fella. He is a superb finisher. Yeah, near the hoop, he's an absolute monster. And that's a foul called on Porzingis. That is his first foul of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. Lamb's checked in. Curry's gone a terrific. Six of eight shooting from the floor. Jeremy Lamb. James outside. Davis setting the pick for James. Buries it from three-point lane. LeBron's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Warriors have gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Here's the captain. And again for three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. Fires from 14. The Warriors pull it in. The captain's got rebound number five here tonight. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Basket, good. Well, this is how effective LeBron is in close. Just takes his time, never in a rush, and exploits holes in the defense. The captain passes to Green. It's Curry outside. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Curry's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Warriors. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a major 39-point lead here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has made so much game for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Howdy folks, time for halftime fun. Woohoo! Before we check out the action at hand, first order of business, the power rankings. Now these rankings are, of course, distinct from the standings. And for an explanation of the difference, we turn to the esteemed Dr. O'Neill. Who? Me? Uh, Ernie, like, put me, uh, Kenny, you go. Well, I, I got you, big fella. Ernie, it's a formula that, um, Actually, I forgot as well. Uh, well, I'd be happy to explain it. Hey, but we're out of time. And it's a secret. And now let's look back on that first half of play, one that has not been pretty for the Los Angeles Lakers. Well, they're not finding good shots, and that starts with their ball movement. Too much hero basketball. They need to sharpen up the attack. More motion, quick cuts, get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back with that type of play. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You know, the captain has been exceptional here, guys. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. The Lakers with the ball. And there's a lot you can say about Golden State's offensive abilities, but their defense is also razor sharp. They, they know how to control the flow of a game. And Golden State looking at who they've got. They'll see Wiggins and Green play in the forward spots. Curry is out there with the captain, and it's Brzingis in at the center position. And another three for Golden State. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do Warriors. add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. And some might go as far, Greg, as 
saying Golden State's defense is underrated. It is kind of overlooked at times, and, and their shooting is so exceptional, it hides everything else, like how they can dominate the glass defensively. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone, no man's land, giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. Porzingis passes to Curry. There's the three. Another three for Golden State. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. And Walker kicks to Davis. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Wants to get it to Westbrook and does. And finished off by Westbrook. Westbrook has tremendous elevation for a guard. So athletic. And not only does he get high up in the air, he's strong while he's up there. Curry is inside. He's covered by Westbrook. Curry can't get it to go. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. And so Beverly will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Westbrook scanning the floor. Back to James. Just five to shoot. The Warriors pull it in. Persingas has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Man, is it easy to remain in awe of the greatness of LeBron James. Clark, this is a guy that just doesn't seem to age. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really one of the remarkable runs in the history of sports in my mind, quite honestly, Kevin, on and off the floor. We know he spends a lot of time and money to keep his body in peak shape. He yet is still not showing any real signs of slowing down. We know Father Time is undefeated. But I tell you what, LeBron is giving it a... Run for its money. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Westbrook, Porzingis with the block. No, no, no. 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 James against Green. From deep. Curry can't get it to go. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Pass to James, and it's a defensive three-second violation. Well, the grimace of pain tells it all. He's hurt, and let's hope he's okay. And boy, when you see someone hurting like this, it's always scary. You're exactly right. I mean, with the way it looks, what we have to hope for now is that somehow it's not a long-term issue. And Turner's checked in for the Warriors. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And so he hits the technical free throw. You know, I tell you what, you can make a case he's the best player in the league. Davis is really the total package, both ends of the floor, and he continues to get better. Out to the right wing. Loads it up for Davis. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Davis has got five points now this quarter. A three-pointer. Wiggins buries the long-range jumper. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Shooter passes to Bryant. Yep, that one goes. Bryant's got his first two points of the night. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. 
well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Man, that IQ of Green, just sizing up defenses and making the right read in that pick and roll. Schroeder passes to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Fires the three, and another three for Golden State. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. You're exactly right. I mean, those come back to bite you every time, just like it's biting them now. Count it good. Schroeder's got his first bucket in this one. So crafty and clever at finishing inside. Schroeder doesn't lack confidence trying to get it up and down from this area. Knocks down the three ball. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. And it's Schroeder missing. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Three-pointer, and Stephen Curry Stephen gets Curry. the three. Curry's got 12 points now in the quarter. Tell you what, it's just one of those nights where Curry finds a rhythm and just keeps on flowing. This show never gets old. I mean, he's just making the D look foolish. I mean, that was one heck of a move to get himself the space he needed to operate. And how about the slam to finish it off? Not too shabby either. I'll tell you what, safe to say that was a good looking play from start to finish. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He's cashed in nine times from beyond the arc this game. Who knows how many threes he'll wind up with. We'll return shortly. a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought really? contest. We've got Troy Brown. Jones is up. There with Jeremy Lamb, and it's Primo in at the point. That's the Laker five. Out to the right wing. Here's Fontecchio. The rebound by Turner. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Here's Ben Carroll. Good, and Curry gets Hello, the assist. Curry's got five assists in the game. And more than respectable from three. Boncaro stretching his range there. Wow. Takes the three. Kept alive. On the basket by Jones. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Three, so many one. of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. And it's Fontecchio missing. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And Carroll. And Follow good. And got Carol. the English that time as it falls. Assisted. And Carroll's got five points in the quarter. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. And there's the call on Curry. That's his third foul of the game. Third when you were playing, social media wasn't a thing. Uh, now that you see it through your eyes, how has that changed the game? I think it's changed it exponentially. And in many ways, it's been good in terms of more people being able to be connected. You can expose more people to more of the beauty of the game for marketing. I think it's terrific when you talk about video clips and all of the different kinds of content you can create and share globally around the game. The challenge, though, for the players is making sure that they keep the main thing the main thing, keep first things first, and not allow the noise 
of the internet and social media to be a distraction. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Primo, covered by Rollins, and a wide open look for Lamb. And that one's on target from the wing. Lamb is a capable spot up shooter. He's comfortable shooting off the catch. A three ball. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. There's the pass to Gabriel. Lamb with the ball. Wiggins with the rebound. Here's the captain, covered by Lamb. Rollins with the bucket. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. And there's the foul. It'll go on the captain. That's foul number two for him. And in today's NBA, there are more and more female coaches than ever before. And, Clark, that extends to the front office, too. Kevin, I think it's a trend that will continue. I mean, the NBA and society realizing that diversity in all of its forms is a real strength. And the growth of the women's game producing some outstanding coaching and front office candidates. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Six for six, and she had to miss from the field. Tell you what, somebody came to play and compete tonight. Wiggins has been bagging his groceries all game long. Really hard to think of things they didn't do well in this one. Certainly a dominant night on offense for the Warriors. When you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooters. Exactly, Kevin. They were lethal from deep. In what's been a good season already, tonight's win will take their record to 50 wins, a big milestone here tonight. And this will be their third win in three tries against these guys. They match up so well. They really do. I mean, there's one more game to play in the season series, and barring any major changes to their team, I have to believe the sweep will be in order. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for the captain. Boy, the way he orchestrated the pace was impressive. I mean, moved the ball around, made good things happen with the pass. Well done. Turner for three. A three-pointer is right on target. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. Stolen. Here's the captain. Good, another from three. He's really sniping him from outside. Locked in, feeling confident in that three-point shot. James looking it over. Over Van Carroll. And it's sent back by Turner. What timing from Turner. I mean, that's a big part of blocking shots. Reading the shooter and then timing it. Connects again from distance. And this parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. Oh, and that latest triple ties him for second for the most threes in a game. What a monster he's been from deep. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Jones, no luck. Here's the captain. He's guarded by Schroeder. Good! Another from three. And of course it falls for him. That three pushes him into the history books. Well, he is not tied for the most threes in a game. This is a night we will never forget. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. Here's the captain, and again for three. And that is a three that will put him in the record books. 
a historic you, performance you, by a historically good shooter. One of the best games anybody has ever had. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Draymond. When you look at the stat sheet and why things work tonight, what are you looking at the most? Turnovers. That's the key to the game. Look at turnovers and how many free throws they shot. If they weren't able to set their defense, we didn't turn the ball over, we were able to set ours. Those are the two things I look at. Certainly sounds like the foundation to victory, man. Congrats again. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, the captain.